Good morning everyone. So today we are changing front brake pads on a 2020 Honda Accord Touran. As you could see, these brake pads are totally different. Hi David, what are you doing? I'm changing uh, brakes. The brakes. Brake pads. Okay, so this is what a 2020 Honda Accord Touring front brake pads look like. If you're familiar with the older ones, them it's pretty simple, but this one is a little bit technical. So you really have to be careful when changing these pads. On the back, it's not the regular screw bolts. There's a cap. Not your hex. There's caps over them. You just take the caps off and get the right tool. This one uses a number seven hexagon tool. There we go, it fits in a slot firmly. Get my tool. So he has his tool, so he's gonna release it. So if you look at it, the insert bolts he's removing. Then we have to remove the outer bracket, which takes a little manly strength. So you have to careful with your hands. Just make sure that you don't squeeze or pinch your finger. It's not as easy as it looks. It's on pressure, so see? So he has it out. So you put it down the same way you took it out you just rest it down next to you then you just snuggle that off the caliper just comes off with ease now when you look at it the inside one it's a clip-on so you just snap that out there we go rest that on the corner and the other one the outer one it's kind of confusing but once you get to know it if you look at the new one there's a pace so it's actually glued on to the caliper bracket itself so you just use a flathead screwdriver yeah don't don't think that it doesn't hold on strong it hold on very strong on the caliper and you try to pry it a little and a little on both ends until you can get a release it off as you can see how tight that was glued on to the caliper just put that aside now you get you have to retract the caliper bracket so you're gonna use the old one never use the new brake pads to retract the caliper bracket you do not want to damage the new brake pads so if you look at the bracket at the back of it there's a bolt try to put your tool on the bolt so you have a proper leverage so you hold it an angle you turn it until it gets tight and then you with ease tracks it takes a little time but you cannot force it you just do it easily let it retract by itself and you don't want to force it there we go carefully remove your tool while it's balancing the caliper put your tools aside remove the old one so you have the new one now so you're gonna set it in because it has the clips you take your time balance it and you clip it in into the caliper there we go again it needs balance and strength together It's not something you can hurry. It's not something you could force on. You just have to take your time. Make sure it sets in. 
because these are not like the older ones these brackets are even more stiffer in order to hold tight on because this remember is a 20 20 Honda Accord Touring there we go so you had this snuggles in you make sure you check it's completely in then you take the other end this hair has to be peeled off yeah it's get kind of like irritated because there's not an edge on it you actually have to make that so you see I have it there and you pull it off make sure it does not get any dust or anything don't rest it down the minute you pick that up you take it you set it in position over the clip and bring it in towards the bracket and press it in with your hands very tightly in then carefully replace the collet the caliper with the brake pads on to the rotor bracket and hand screw in the bolts so it catches and turn in smoothly you could use the, so the socket fit it in and hand screw it in do not force it in if it's not going in smoothly just remove it and try screwing it in back this one here went in smoothly okay so he's gonna do the bottom one and never pull it tight just hand screw it in then you put the other the bottom bracket bolt on then you pick the tool up put your socket on and now you're gonna pull it but not too tight neither too loose you will get that strength in your arms as you pull it the tight do not over tighten it because it may snap and break the bolt you don't want the caliper bolt break in then you will have to replace everything so this is the pretty easy part you put back the rubber covers over so that way it protects it from getting damaged now we're gonna do straighten back the wheel now we're gonna Clip on back the outside bracket. It takes leverage and strength together. So don't get frustrated. It's not gonna happen in a snap of a finger. So there he goes he just snuggled in the top and he's pulling the bottom just make sure that it's properly secured again and that's it you just replace front brake pads on a 2020 on the Accord Touring next thing you do is replace back the wheel and that's it pump your brakes up to make sure so you have it here and I'm gonna go pump the brakes up make sure it retracts to the router, the rotor That's it guys so you see it's a little complicated but once you have patience you have the time once you're finished with this 
the next thing to do is always check the bracket on the back make sure you push it off the calipar and it doesn't brace all right that's it guys then you just replace your wheel make sure the bolts are tightened properly secured always double check your work to make sure have a good day and i hope this video was helpful just like subscribe and follow for more thank you